everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome into my studio. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Now, warning here, today is a big haul video. So for those of you who uh, are not interested in seeing my haul videos, switch off now. But if you want to see any of my DIYs, how-tos, arts and crafts, mixed media, uh, all that, if you want to see any of that, there's a playlist and I have over 100 videos in there for that on this channel. Check out the playlist, the DIY playlist, you will see it. Also, please check out my blog at Ed Makes. Uh, it www.nmakes.ca and makes one word very easy and you have hours of posts tutorials how to's uh, tips for making your own craft supplies home decor lots and lots of stuff on there so I have plenty of DIY content for you it's all out there so this is a really big Dollarama haul. It is probably my most expensive haul ever. Um, I can't say that it, although it is really big, I'm wondering if I haven't had bigger hauls that were just less expensive because I do have a lot of items here that were in the uh, three, four dollar range. Um, but Christmas is coming. I did find a lot of things for that. So because this is going to be such a big haul, I will be dividing this video up. Uh, it's just too long otherwise. So right now, today, let's focus on what I consider uh, kitchen, household items, yeah, that I picked up. So one reason... I was going to Dollarama. Well, that's the excuse. It's not the real. <laughs> that's the excuse I made to go into Dollarama. Was we needed some more wooden spoons. So I went in and I did get a wooden spoon. And then everything else just jumped into my cart. Okay. So I got this bamboo utensil wooden spoon. Uh, these work really great. Uh, I've had I the last one I had lasted over. A year I think and uh, it just you know it just got split because it went in the dishwasher we dropped it on the tile floor yeah not a good thing so uh, two dollars for these good spoons and I also picked up a, a slotted spoon in the bamboo so these are my favorite spoons to get there Dollarama I think they're a good price at two dollars a piece um, I picked up a pizza cutter because I'm finding that our pizza cutter is quite dull right now and uh, yeah so I just picked up another one it's the Betty Crocker 350 uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of Dollar Trees have the Betty Crocker pizza cutter so it's a lot less expensive but I was a Dollarama so I got it there I in the food stuff, there's really very little food stuff. I just picked up a couple pouches of the French's barbecue gravy. These are two for $1.25. So I saw this. It's an as seen on TV ultimate jar opener. Uh, my intention is for us to have this in our kitchen. The ultimate jar opener. Um, This might be helpful for my son who has, well, like me, he has a, a neuromuscular uh, disease and, and like me, he ha he lacks a lot of strength in his extremities and opening jars tends to be quite challenging. So, but new jars, like if we get a new pickle jar and stuff. So I just thought this might be a useful thing to try. We have tried other jar opener things. Uh, I'm able to work with them, but he hasn't been able to it. They're, they're just not good for him So I'm gonna try this one. Hopefully it works. 
I couldn't see the price of this. There's no price on here, no price in the store. I do have the receipt, and when I edit the video, I will put the price. Another item I picked up was this copper Weimar steel slicing knife. It comes with the self-sharpening protective casing here. And this was $4, and I just thought that was a very good deal. I do have a lot of kitchen knives, but a lot of them I find have gotten, the handle has gotten worn, uh, the rubber part and the plastic just, you know, is cracking to, in the dishwasher. It just, yeah, I don't really like it. And I just thought we would give this one a try. Plus, I would also count as a Christmas present to my for my husband uh, because he is an, av an amateur chef on the weekends. I also saw this knife, it's a paring knife, but I thought this was a really good deal because it is by the Onita, Onita brand and these are really good products. So this is a three and a half inch uh, paring knife and it does have a little shield. So, and I think this was under $4. Again, I'll include the price. When I find it, I'll put it there. A couple of uh, snack items. I picked up just one package of the snack size Mars bars. You get 130 grams. You get, I believe, 10 of these little snack size Mars bars in here, $2. Uh, the gum there, the XL White uh, Bubble Gum flavor, I think it's 82 or 85 cents a pack of Dollarama, so I got two of those. The Ziploc bags that I got, a box of 24 with the uh, limited edition holiday theme, and price will be there. Oh, uh, finally. Uh, my store had the Betty Crocker printed holiday, pr holiday print parchment paper. They only had the candy cane motif. I've seen others haul a different motif, unless there were, there were a mix in the bag, and I just didn't pay attention. So uh, I got two of these, one for my baking, my Christmas baking, uh, to get when I give baked goods, and the other one to keep in my craft room for crafting uh, purposes. I picked up two boxes of the Hershey's Almondillo, one to give away and one as a backup because I know myself I will probably eat them all before I give the box away. So I got two. And these are four dollars. So. I picked myself up this giant mug. I love big mugs and a lot of my dishware is chipped and cracked and it just needs to be updated. And I just, because I love big mugs and I do love Christmas, I wanted something like this, something Christmassy. And I took this one because it says, love is the key that opens the heart. And I think these were $3, these are $3. So, got myself a big mug, because I like that. And in the kitchen section, they had these Wilton Measure and Shape. That's a lot to say. Sizing and Blending Tray. So, this is basically a silicone plate that can be used for you to measure the clumps of, um, what do you call this stuff? Uh, to, what is it? It's, it's like edible clay. Oh, I can't find the name right now. It, the, the, you know, bakers use this to shape all sorts of things and um, it's it's a paste Ugh, it's it's something you eat it's not not play-doh um the perfectly with the shape and the edible decorating dough edible dough so that's the idea but 
I don't do that anymore. I don't do a lot of that, but I do work with clay in my craft room. So I thought this might be fun for measuring out even amounts of clays for making clay crafts. So I got that and again, I think this was $4, but the price will be down there. So, okay, so my time is good. Um, how about I share some, a few more items that I got. I picked up this big jar of bath salt in the scent of cherry blossom. I thought it smelled really pretty. A whole big jar like this is two ounces, I think. No, that's not right. 970 grams. And this, the price is here is $3. So that, that's actually a good deal. I compared it to the smaller bags and I thought it, it was, it is more expensive than buying small bags, but I really like the scent of this one. So I got that. I saw the Hugo Grips for Eyes Surefoot. I got these for my son to give a try for when he goes out on his daily uh, hikes in the around here in, the, in our neighborhood. We have some trails here, um, and I thought he might like to try these out. I did buy the other gripper thingies several weeks ago, but I just thought he could try these out too and see what he prefers most and it wouldn't hurt to have an extra pair of these i also picked up for, for my the same son I'm, I'm referring to some nice thermal socks for that for his uh jaunt outside and the woods and stuff so uh these are three dollars and fifty cents you get two pairs outdoor multi-purpose socks uh, they seem very nice so Got him that. Picked up a package of Hall's cough drops. I don't remember how much these are um, to have on hand. We, my, my oldest son and I uh, just had a cold, and it what it just it it hit us really strongly, really fast, and then it was gone just as quickly. But I just thought I'd have this for next time we get a cold because he likes those cough drops. So I also picked up a bunch of the hand warmers, the things that, you know, you break, uh, you like crack the, the bag and stick it in your glove or mitten to warm up your hands when it's like sub, like minus 30 degrees outside, you know, yeah. Uh, these are $1.50 for a pair. They also had the warm-ups. Uh, for the toe warmers, these are to put in your footwear, and these are also no, these are a dollar twenty-five. Sorry, they're a dollar twenty-five. And then they had the insole warmers for the full shoe, uh, and these are two fifty. So they say that each one provides six hours of heat. So I thought this is something good to have in the car for if. If ever uh, we break down and uh, in, a, in the winter, because our winters are horribly cold, very dangerous, it is. Uh, if you, if you, uh, if you break down in winter in the temperatures that we have and you, and you don't get any help for a few hours uh, you could die from the extreme cold but you could you could also get frostbite and the first thing to go are your extremities so I just thought these would be good to have in an emergency so I got that and I also picked up some socks for me I was in need of thermal socks I haven't bought new thermal socks in a very long time so I got myself this pack this two pair three dollars and the other socks I got these were just pretty casual 
casually dressy socks uh, for for ladies and these are $1.50 for both so they're, the first one has a print and the other one is just a plain plain black and that is that for my household kitchen uh, kitchen Christmas gifts that I hauled from Dollarama yesterday thank you so very much for watching I hope you liked this video if you did i would appreciate a thumbs up please like please comment please share and stay tuned for the second part of the dollarama haul where i'll focus on the crafting diy supplies and some christmas decorating and i see oh there's another gift and the, so there's gift ideas in there too so come back to see that one and until then stay crafty bye